ACTG, a global clinical trials network focused on HIV and other infectious diseases, recently announced the opening of the PAUSE study pausing antiretroviral treatment under structured evaluation, also known as a 5,416-AVDN-806 EVE TNH100 AT HIV, the first ACTGH IV cure clinical trial, take place on the African continent. Before we continue with this video, first who are CTGs? ACTG is the world's largest and longest running clinical trials network focused on HIV and other infectious diseases and the people living with them. It is funded by NIAID and collaborating NIH institutes. Founded in 1987, ACTG conducts research to improve the management of HIV and its comorbidities, develop a cure for HIV, and innovate treatments for tuberculosis, hepatitis B, and emerging infectious diseases. It comprises thousands of dedicated researchers, staff, and community members who are pursuing research into novel treatments and cures for infectious diseases at 65 locations across four continents, with the ultimate goal of advancing science that meaningfully impacts the lives of the people we serve. Now you know who ACTG are, don't forget to smash the subscribe for more updated health news and contents. So what is PAUSE? PAUSE is a phase one, double-blind, randomized study evaluating the safety and efficacy of the two long-acting, broadly neutralizing antibodies, BNABS, 3BNABS, 3BNC117 LSJ, and 10, 1074 LSJ, compared to placebo in adults living with HIV who discontinue antiretroviral therapy, monitored treatment pause, known as an analytic treatment interruption. While current art can manage HIV very well, it does not cure it. People living with HIV have to take art for the rest of their lives in order to suppress viral replication and protect their immune systems. Even when taking art, people living with HIV have latent HIV reservoirs, groups of immune cells that contain HIV, but do not produce new copies. When people stop taking art, virus in the latent cells begins to multiply, thereby increasing the amount of HIV in a person's body. The approach being studied in PAUSE represents an important part of a novel, multi-component intervention that could eventually enable the immune system to control HIV in the absence of art for weeks or months. In order to ensure that the HIV cure approaches we develop are broadly effective and accessible, it is vital that HIV cure research be conducted among the global population of people living with HIV, said ATTG Chair Judith Courier, METIV, said ATTG Chair Judith Courier, METMC, University of California, Los Angeles. There are key differences between the HIV epidemic in African countries and the United States. For example, there are variations in viral subtypes as well as in the sex and age distribution of HIV and prevalence of comorbidities. By situating this study in Africa, we hope to gain important insights into how to optimize HIV cure efforts in the part of the world with the greatest HIV burden. This multi-center trial will enroll 48 participants between the ages of 18 and 70 who are virally suppressed on art with the expectation that at least 40% of participants will be cisgender women. Participants will be randomized in a 2 to 1 ratio to receive either a single intravenous infusion of 3BNC117 LSJ, 117 LSJ, 30 mg per kilogram, or a single intravenous infusion of 10, 1074 LSJ, 10 mg per kilogram, or a placebo for both. All participants will discontinue ART two days later. Participants will be closely monitored during their treatment interruptions over the course of 24 weeks. If they remain virally suppressed after that, they may remain off treatment for up to 72 weeks total. Participants will restart HIV treatment when they meet the criteria to do so, including C4 count decline to below 350 copies, microliter, or increase in viral load to more than 1,000 copies milliolayer for four weeks in a row, among others. The two BNABs being evaluated in PAUSE have shown promise in earlier studies and this study gives us the opportunity to understand that they work among African participants, said Mina Hosanipour, Med, IM. IM, University of North Carolina, UNC, Project Malawi at Kamuzu Central Hospital, Global, and co-chair of PAUSE. This study has the potential to teach us many things, including how well tolerated they will be, 
how effective they are at maintaining durable viral suppression in the absence of ART, and whether they will be associated with a decrease in the size of the latent HIV reservoir. She said further, PAUSE is being conducted in collaboration with the HIV Vaccine Trials Network, HIVTN, and the HIV Prevention Trials Network, HPTN. It is open to select a CTG HIVT, HIVTN, and HPTN clinical research sites in Africa. It's exciting to see past work on broadly neutralizing human monoclonal antibodies to HIV in South Africa being leveraged as this protocol moves forward, said Larry Corey, MD, Principal Investigator of HIVTN's Leadership and Operations Center, headquartered at Fred Hutch Cancer Center in Seattle. PAUSE is sponsored by the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, NIAID, part of the National Institutes of Health, which also co-funds a CTG, HIVTN, and HPTN with other NIH institutes. The study is co-funded by the Bill Melinda Gates Foundation under INV 6731, INV 10579, and INV AVs were manufactured by Just, Evotech and are being supplied by the Ying Supplied by Just, Evotech and are being supplied by the Rockefeller University. Ensuring that HIV cure strategies work for diverse populations is key to a CTG's HIV cure research agenda said Marina Kasky emmy the Rockefeller University, and Will Cornell Medicine, and Vice, Chair of PAUSE. We have engaged with the communities of local investigators and people living with HIV from early on in the development and design of PAUSE to ensure that we understand their priorities, needs, and challenges in order to ultimately develop and implement successful HIV cure strategies. For more information about PAUSE, please visit Clinicultrials, gov, and for more updates on HIV cure, don't forget to subscribe to Health Awareness and turn on the notification bell, so you'll be the first person to know when we upload our videos. If you have subscribed now, congratulations! You are among the 1.5% people who takes their health seriously. If you have not, you may not see us again, and until we meet again, stay healthy.